Okay, now we go to the Hipparchus scale, okay? We mentioned Hipparchus way back, way, way back in lecture two when we were talking about the Greek astronomers and we said uh, Hipparchus was one of the first cataloger of stars. He observed stars, he cataloged them, and he, he gave them a certain rating, brightness rating. He was the first cataloger of stars, and he gave them a brightness rating from 1 through 6, with 1 being the brightest, you see. So his scale went something like this. Whenever he saw a star that was very, very bright looking, he called that star one. So this was the brightest. And then two, three, four, and then six was the least brightest. Least brightest, or we can call it dimmest. Okay, we still, because of the honor of his uh, memory and stuff, we still use a scale very similar to the scale he devised. We've discovered more stars than what he knew, and we've had to expand the scale, okay? So that means we, we went and uh, we continued the same pattern that he did. So if we discovered the star that was dimmer than a six, we called it a seven, dimmer than a seven, eight, nine, 10, and then so on. See, this, as you go this way, you get dimmer. And the funny thing is the scale we had to expand this way too. So as you go this way, you get brighter. So we're, we're kind of forced to go to negative numbers, okay? Does that mean the luminosity of the star is negative? No, it's just the scale that we made. And if you get a negative number on this scale, that just means you're even brighter. You keep, the more negative, the brighter you are, you see? So stars to the right are dim, stars to the left are bright. For every unit of five on this scale, there is a factor of 100, you see? For every unit of five on this scale, there's a factor of 100. So if star A is five, let's call, this is star A. <coughs> star B is a zero. Let's say star B was rated a zero. Star A was rated a five. And star C was rated a negative five. So negative five, let's just put it, I'm gonna try to fit it in here. So this is star C. What would that mean? And then star D is a 10. So what would that mean? Well, that means star C is 100 times brighter than B. You see, this guy is 100 times brighter than that guy. Why? It's to the left. And every five units is a factor of 100. So this guy is 100 times brighter than that guy. This guy is 100 times brighter than that guy. This guy is 100 times brighter than that guy. You see? So star C is 100 times brighter than B. Star B is 100 times brighter than A. And if I want to know how much brighter this guy is than that, 100 times 100 gives you 10,000. Uh, 10,000. So if a star is rated number uh, negative 5, uh, he's 10,000 times brighter than a, a 5. You see? And 1 million times brighter than a D. You see here? Why? 100 times 100 is 10,000. 10,000 times 100 is a one, 1 million. So star C would be a million times brighter than a D. Million times brighter than a D. <coughs> so you might say, what a weird kind of scale, right? Uh, the closest analogy of this that I can kind of think of, one of the closest analogy is think about the sport, uh, the sport of golf, okay? Um, Let's say I'm a beginning golf player and I've just picked up the game and start practicing and stuff like that. And then I go play a couple of rounds of golf and I find that I can average uh, 18 uh, whole round of golf. I can average it in 75 strokes. 
So I rate myself as a 75 player, okay? So I'm gonna kind of relate that to that, okay? So I rate myself 75, so that's me. Then I start looking at the ratings of other players, and I find that there's a player rated 80. His average is 80. There's another player rated 85. And then as you go to the professionals, 70, 65, and maybe there's a guy rating his 60. Okay, who's the best player out of this? Okay, uh, in golf, it's one of the only sports where the least, the less the number, the better player you are, right? Similar to the Hipparchus scale, you see that? The less the number, the, the brighter you are. It, the only difference is just that the scale is such that you go into the negatives, but the negatives don't really mean anything, you see? So I'm 75. A 70 player would be how many times better than me? If, we, if the scale was similar to the Hipparchus scale, we would say a person who's rated 70 plays 100 times better than me. So I have to practice 100 times more, lots and lots of hours to get my average down to 70, you know? Uh, if a person is rated 65, he's 100 times better than a 70, 10,000 times better than me, you see? So this guy is 10,000 times better than me. And if a person is rated 60, he's a million times better than me, okay? Million times. Is there anyone rated 60 in golf? No, probably Tiger Woods is like 62, 63 at his best. What were, what were his records? I don't think anyone gets less than 60, right? Because if 18 rounds of golf, if you do two shots per, uh, no, if you do three shots per hole, that's 54, okay? That means each hole, you take only three shots to make it in. Well, some of the holes, they're par four, par five. They're really hard holes. You're not gonna do all of them in three. So you might do three and a half. If you do three and a half, you're gonna do 54 plus nine, 63. So 63 is, Real, really, really good, okay? If you were 75, you're trying to work your way up to a 63, it's gonna take <coughs> thousands of hours of practice. Golf is one of, I think golf is the hardest sport in the world. I tried learning it and I couldn't, I gave up. Uh, I play tennis, I play racquetball, I play all kinds of other sports I've taught myself, but I cannot do golf, it's very, very hard. So literally golf, is like that. If you go to 75, you're trying to be a 70, you're gonna be in there for hours and hours, okay? So a similar, the Hipparchus scale works similarly, you see? So now you kind of get the comparison. Um, so what would be the magnitude, the Hipparchus scale magnitude of a star, okay? 100 times brighter than a plus three. So just because my examples all had to do with negative five, zero, five, ten, doesn't mean a star can't be a three, right? So if there was another star that was a three, let's say there was a star here, and if I wanna know what's the magnitude of a star 100 times brighter than that, what do I do? I go five units to the left of that. Just five units to the left. One, two, three, four, five. So this star is 100 times brighter than that star. So what's the answer to this question? What is the magnitude of a star 100 times brighter than the plus three? Negative two. It's five units le to the left of positive three. You see? <laughs> what if I reword the question this way? What would be the magnitude of a star 100 times dimmer than a plus three? Eight, okay, good, you got the idea. 100 times dimmer, you go five units to the right, 100 times brighter, five units to the left. 
between here and here? Yeah. Uh, well, between every two units, between like every single unit, if every five is, uh, that's a good question. If every five is 100, what's every single one? It's 100 to the power one-fifth. 100 to the power one-fifth. And I think you get a certain decimal answer, two point something, something, something. So that means this is two point something, something brighter than that. This is two point something, something brighter than that. Two point something, something brighter than that. So every, every time you could do that, by the time you get to five of them, two to the power, uh, whatever that number is, to the power of five, you get 100. So every single one is like something like a decimal number, two, two point something. So you want to do 20 no, it's not 20. It's 100, one to the one-fifth power. What number is there raised to the power of five, uh, which gives you 100? Well, if it's three to the power of five, uh, you get, um, no, that's more than 100. Can you do that on the calculator? 100 to the power one-fifth. One over five. Two point five, yeah. So roughly two point five. So this is two point five brighter than that. This is two point five brighter than that. Two point five brighter than that. Two point five brighter than two point five brighter. So when you do five of those two point fives, you get hundred. That's the way it works. You see? <laughs> so that's kind of similar too. If you did golf, if you're a 75, you want to become a 74, you have to become two and a half times b better player. And if you want to be 73, two and a half times better player than that. You see? It's kind of similar. <laughs> <laughs>